Hey guys, it's DT Gaming. Welcome to the very first episode of Rush Fishing 4, the newbie user guide. Uh, we are going to cover uh, the tutorial, which we start off in Cottage Pond. Um, just wait for the game to load here. So when you first start off in the game, um, you're going to be directed to the Cottage Pond and you're going to be prompted to do the tutorial as soon as you actually enter the game. <clears throat> okay. The tutorial. We suggest that you become familiar with the basics mechanics base mechanic of the game by passing the tutorial it will not take much time okay approach the bank and stand on the bridge use the keys WSAD to move during the dark hours you can use a flashlight with the F key so if it's dark just push the F key you can change you can turn the light on off Okay, you gotta walk up to the bridge, um, as it said. This spot is perfect for fishing. Now let's choose the rod and check if the necessary fixed line components are installed on it. First, open the backpack by pressing the I on the keyboard. Let's prepare the tackle for fishing. In the list that appears, select Select the float rod, for example, Telestick TL16, by clicking on the tile with its image. Next, we'll select the rig fixed float. A fishing line, float hook, and bait must be installed on the rod. Then take the rod in your hands by pressing the pick up button. So we're going to click on the tile as it said. As you see, this is the fishing line, float, hook, and bait, as it says right here. So with that, um, anyways, we're going to pick up the, the rod with the button right here. Okay, the tackle is almost ready for fishing. Set one meter depth, that will help the bait to get closer to the bottom. To set the float depth, use the keys num plus or num minus, or you can use here where the key numbers are, or you can also use your number key. So we're gonna set it to one meter. The tackle is ready for casting. Try to cast again. Consider wind speed and direction. Aim at the center of the glowing circle. This is the area where the float must get to. Cast the line by pressing the left mouse button. The longer you hold the left mouse button, the more force is applied. Control the casting force using the pop-up indicator. The cast is done when you release the left mouse button. Okay. So we're just going to cast it straight, like so. Okay, zoom in helps to follow the float easier. Press the Z key to zoom. Wait for the bite. Watch for the float carefully. If it sinks or moves aside, set the hook and pull the fish closer to you. To do that, press the left and hold the left mouse button. If you set the hook successfully, you will feel the load on the rod. So we're just watching the image and also the float in the back. If it sinks, then we got a fish on. We're going to hold the left mouse button, as it said, to set the hook. Okay. Now, if you fail to set the hook like you said right there, you gotta redo it all over again. So make sure you guys set the rod, the hook first. So there's the fish. 
Okay. Excuse me. Congratulations, you have caught a fish and earned some experience. Place the fish into the keep net by clicking the keep button in the lower part of the appeared window. So this is the accretion carp, 332 grams or 25 centimeters. You can rotate the fish by holding on the left mouse button to get a better uh, view of what the fish actually looks like. Uh, this is your experience right here and this is your um, float points you get towards uh, whatever uh, method you're fishing with. Float, spinning, bottom. Um, yeah, so I will explain more on that after. Anyway, so on this one, you got 0.2% uh, on your float. So we're going to click on keep as it says for to keep the fish. Okay, put the rod back into your backpack. You can put the rod into the backpack by pressing the backspace key. Find a health and get spare tackle for float fishing. Spare tackle are useful and when something breaks and there is no money to buy new gear, you can get spare tackle no more than once per day. Okay, so the house is over here. As for what it says by once a day, I think it means oh, um, uh, in a 24 hour period, not in game time. So keep that in mind. Make sure you be mindful as it says um, when something breaks because if you don't pay attention, you will break something. Alright, All right, so we're going to click on Y because it's best to get another float rod that way you can fish with two rods I'll explain that here soon so we're going to click on Y to grab more float tackle alright now let's go to Mosquito Lake and try to sell our catch at the fish market to move to the other location open the control panel by clicking the escape key and click on the bar with a dip Deprecation of the current location in the pop-up window. So we're going to click on this way here. Moot, moving to Mosquito Lake. Find the bar with an image of the desired location in the lower section of the screen and click it. Then click on the, on the bottom button. Sorry. On the button travel in the center part of the screen. So we're going to click on Mosquito, we're going to click on this right here. Welcome to Mosquito Lake, find fish market and sell your catch. You are earning almost nothing now. In the future, try to catch big fish. Their price is much higher. Okay, so this is the fish market right here. Then you click on E to enter it. You have found the fish market, saw your catch. Find a bar with the image of the ca caught fish in the bar. And no, in the pop up list then click on the button sell that is on the left side of the screen so we're going to click on the fish right here and we're gonna click on sell i'm thinking that this is based on an older version of the game because i don't see nothing about bars and stuff so keep that in mind congratulations you have earned your first money in the game now close the fish market window. We have one more task for you. To find the tackle store and buy a bait maggot. Click keys WSAD to move. Alright, so when you hold shift, you can run. Or let go to stop running. Again, if, the, if it's dark out, um... 
click on the F key to turn the flash on. As you see, the light is reflecting on the door. And you can tell it's on. So click on E to enter the store. Go directly to Bates and click on the ma tile maggot in the pop-up list. Make a purchase by clicking the button with an image of silver coins. So we're going to go to Bates. Now, um, the maggots is a larvae. So we're going to click on larvae and your maggots are right here. You're going to click on purchase. You have purchase excellent bait. Be sure to try it out. Close the store window. You can not only buy bait, but also craft them from the components available in the backpack. Let's make some bait wet bread. First, open the crafting recipe. You can open the recipe by pressing the hotkey N on your keyboard. Locate the recipe called wet bread and click on it. Then craft the bait wet bread by pressing the left mouse button on the button. Make before crafting the bait, you must fill in all required fills of the recipe. Okay, so this auto puts in the, the um, required for you. Before, I never used to do that. If it's not there, just click on it, click on the bread, and it's set. Um, then click make. Alright. Congratulations, you have crafted your first bait. Accept the results by pressing the space key, then close the recipe screen. So, you can actually rotate on this stuff too. You can rotate anything that it's I hear. So, you gain, you gain a skill point towards bait harvesting. I'll explain what the skills are here in another video. Okay, guys. You have successfully completed all assignments. If you want to get acquainted with the mechanics of using a spin rod, then go to Winding Rivulet. There you will find a tutorial dedicated specifically to this fishing technique. Okay, uh, so if you guys did like the video, uh, make sure you hit that like button. If you guys found this video helpful, you guys should subscribe as well. Uh, I thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in the next tutorial. Until then, guys, bye.